Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a project that I did, there, that I'm doing for the Hip Kit Club design team and I'm using the February 2021 kits. So I'm, I've done a couple of things off camera to get started. I'm mainly adding some stitching, uh, but we'll start here with the background. This is a floral pattern paper and this is called Fresh Flowers from the Some Days Collection by Pink Fresh Studio. So I have a piece, another piece of pattern paper here that coordinates nicely with this uh, floral background and this is from Echo Park Paper, the Little Dreamer Girl collection. And what I've done to get things started is I trimmed it down to size obviously and then I've done some stitching here on the sides so I just put a little adhesive on the back and I'm just pulling the threads around to the back where I put a little bit of adhesive so those will stay in place and then we're just going to adhere this to the center of the page. And you notice along each side all I've done is a straight two passes of straight stitch with white thread just from my just on my sewing machine. Then next I wanted a white cardstock base for where I was going to put my photos, title and journaling. So what I did was I went into my scrap bin and found a piece of cardstock um, from the kit that I had pulled. Anyway, I thought I I ripped it is what it boils down to. I just ripped it. So you can see I almost ripped it clear through. It didn't work for the last project I did, but it will work perfectly for this one. So all I did was trim it down to the size that I wanted and then I typed my journaling out, printed it out, cut it into strips, and I double spaced my journaling so that I had enough room so that I had enough room to um, stitch my journaling strips in place. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it if you're new to my channel this may be the first time you're hearing this but stitching is your best and most inexpensive heat inexpensive adhesive so by doing just that little bit of stitching right there those journaling strips I don't have to worry about them falling off and I use just a tiny bit of thread in doing so. So I have two photos here that I want to use for this layout to tell this story. And then I have my title ready to go which is Spring Flowers. And I want to make sure that I'm placing my photos so that I have enough room for the title. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just put this title in place. Okay. Now I have my title in place. These are, I neglected to mention that these letter stickers are from the Pink Fresh Studio Some Days collection as well. So I have this really pretty cut file that I cut just out of the same white cardstock that I wanted to layer under my flowers or under the photos of my flowers. So I'm just going to place this where I want it to be. I don't want it completely covered. But I want it centered. Okay. So I'm just gonna put adhesive on all of this on the entire photo and that's going to be what's going to hold 
that cut file into place for the moment at least. And then I'm going to add a few more layers on top. And that will help to hold the flower cut file in place as well. Okay, so my two photos are adhered and they're gonna hold that cut file in place for a moment until we get our next layer added on. And I wanted to add just these, this floral die cut from the Pink Fresh Studio Sundays collection, their flower die cut pack. But what I haven't decided is if I want it, I think I wanna tuck it behind my photo. And so what I'm going to do is tuck most of it there behind the photo, but I am going to tuck some pop dots in behind there to make the top pop up a little bit. So we'll just add a few pop dots underneath there. These pop dots will also help to hold that cut file in place. And honestly, I could have gone through and glued that cut file in place, but I was going to be adding stuff on top of it with adhesive as well, and it's, those will hold it in place just as well. So I have a few more flower die cuts that I want to kind of trail down this side of my layout. So I'm going to start with this large pink flower. I'm going to adhere it right actually this way. And then go with a yellow one. Kind of tuck it under that one. And I want some of them to be kind of clustered together, or these two to be clustered together, but then I want this pink one to kind of be on its own. So I have just two, if I can pick it up, I have these two leaves. I'm also going to add pop dot there. Actually, I'm going to tuck that right there on that one. And then this other one, I want to come trailing down from this yellow flower. I'm going to trim off just a little bit of that so that it will tuck under a little bit easier. And then last but not least, I have some pink hearts from the clear stickers. I believe these are in the Pocket Life kit. And I'm taking just the light pink ones and I want to do the same thing that I did with the flowers. I want a few trailing down here and a few up here along the top. And I'm tucking those underneath the, the cut file just to add a little bit more dimension and make that cut file stand out a little bit more. And so with that, I'm going to call this one finished. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so happy to have you here on my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. I upload new videos on, on Sunday and then usually one or two throughout the week. So um, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. And if you would also give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. It lets YouTube know and me know that this is the kind of content that you would like to see. So thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.